If you've been wondering that I've been focusing on rails in the previous videos, you're right. However, due to that and to satiate your needs, this Webio is on roads, specifically another interchange. It is the interchange of Interstate 93 and Route 128, also known as Interstate 95 if you're an outsider, which is located in Reading, Massachusetts, around 10 miles north of Boston. If you realize, this is a mere cloverleaf interchange. While I don't really gripe at the speed restrictions that you have to take when going around, it's really the weaving in and out and the fact that so many people every day have to go through this weaving really snarls up traffic on both Route 128 and Route 93. Let's show an importance of this interchange from a bird's eye view. So you could see this is the Boston metro area. People who are coming from the west, for example, Route 90 onto Route 128 to go on to the northern suburbs will need this interchange to continue north. People coming from the east will want this interchange to go south. People coming from especially Route 3 who don't really have that good of a connection could easily go to Boston with the new interchange design I'm about to propose. And finally, Route 93 to the East Shore. All four of these routes are critical. Unlike the last one, it's not like one route was not that used. Here, every route is used. However, my motto stays the same. If it works, don't change it. And here is my design of this interchange. Here it is. Now you can see that most of the what I call easy ramps which is what would be equivalent to a right turn which goes on the outside of the interchange they're on the existing road. I just had to change the route 128 north to route 93 south ramp just because there wasn't enough room for this overpass right here but besides that it's all existing. Also, I don't believe that either motorway should be wide and both of these motorways have at least eight lanes At least in like normal setting, but probably as you get closer to the interchange they have ten so That's no problem However, what causes them to be snarled up as I said is just this Weaving that has to take place The sole purpose of this interchange is to eliminate that weaving now this is like a hybrid turbine and windmill design in that okay let's just tell let me tell you what a windmill is and what a turbine is turbine is a ramp it involves ramps that cross over both major roadways before meeting up with one of them and it's much higher speed that you can go on for example this ramp right here is more of a turbine ramp a windmill ramp is similar but that it quickly turns across one road and then meets with that same road and goes with that same road under or over the other road. So these two ramps from route 93 south to 128 north as well as 93 north to 128 south those are windmill ramps. But what 128 north to 93 north and 128 south to 93 south those are both turbine ramps these are the turbine ramps because these are the ways i check statistics people travel from here to here more and the south to the east more northwest southeast but all directions still receive a lot of traffic now i'll tell you why i didn't go with an entire stack interchange let's talk about that one stacks are expensive and two they won't work in the massachusetts landscape there are homes nearby and people in this area do not like an eyesore this interchange is barely any taller than the existing one probably at most a couple meters taller to facilitate these new overpasses but nothing much now the windmill is so that there will be only one overpass on the big 
price increases of any interchange is the needing of placing big flyovers and big overpasses across multiple roads. You only need it to cross one road as I show here and there's still enough room to meet with the main motorway and go up to speed. All weaving is eliminated in this design and it's really a design that should be proposed as the many of the other main interchanges along Route 128 are in fact developed. This one should be too. It's a dense area. Suburbs exist for many miles north. <coughs> And it's just going to boost economy as people will find this area just more easy to access, especially Nashua, Manchester, which requires Route 3 to go north. That's about it. This wasn't a long web view, but it shows the designs that can be done to a simple interchange that don't cost as much, but will have ripple effects on the entire Boston metropolitan area. That's it. Thank you for watching.